Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Farnet Game here, back to you with another Rocket League video. In today's Rocket League video, we'll be doing another replay review for the series Road to Pro Coach. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get right into it. So we're already getting right into it. Just 13 seconds and a mistake by our teammate and they're gonna be able to score right from that. So see sharp challenge, bad challenge by him. We're gonna launch it up the field. Hits it right to him. So what he should have done is right here, as he saw this was coming, he needs to be hitting it towards the wall and not trying to hit it towards that way, which that's what he does because their guy Adam is just gonna be making his run towards this way and he's gonna have an open shot since the teammate is, or my teammate, all the way on the other side trying to get boost, which there is none, so he isn't able to get back. So, as you see, he passes it right to him and they get a goal from it. The best thing in threes for the kickoff, as you see, is it's logic right here coming to the ball versus Paul, so they're both gonna meet up in the center and hit the ball. And it's probably gonna either stall or go to one of the sides. So right here, my teammate should have pressed up, cheated on this one, while I went to go get the boost on the side. That's the best strategy for kickoffs in 3v3s nowadays. So what actually happens is he goes wide and he gets beat to the ball because of it, Adam beats him. Our next big mistake was at three minutes and one, still one to zero, and we have a double commit here. So what I probably should have done is let C Sharp attack him since he had the better angle to block, and I needed to go back because Paul over there is way too far away to get back in time. So if we both get beat here, it's probably gonna be a goal. So we both get beat because of it, and luckily Paul somehow gets back, and I was able to get a far enough clear. So right after I got that clear, it's floating, it's not looking good, so I decided to do a squishy save, and it works out perfectly, get the save, and save our team a chance of actually being able to come back and win. So right here, as you can see, he's gonna bang that one up the pitch. So what you should do, as you can see, the line of where the ball came from went down here. So what you should always do is for a long clear, is you gotta aim for either that far corner where you should be aiming for the other far corner with as much power as possible for the clear don't try to hit it when you hit it at center that's a big no-no because they're gonna have a better chance to clear it right back at you and be able to counter from that on this play of two minutes 14 left my teammate should have been challenging the, that as fast as possible i should have been getting back right behind them and nags is also going to challenge that even though it looks like he's close to the ball, he's not going to have the momentum because Nags is actually moving while my teammate's stationary. So he has to block off the angle of shots. Adam is eliminated from play and can't challenge since he's facing the opposite way and so is Logic and Paul. So this is how this play should have went out. Let's see how it actually did. So what actually happened is me and C Sharp both challenge at the same time. We get beat to the ball and no one's back and that should have been a goal, but they somehow miss a wide open net. So we got lucky there. So this is about good positioning. C Sharp is all the way up in there, back corner. So Paul should be getting back. And I see right here that Adam is not gonna get a good touch since he's jumping off the ball at that angle. So he's just gonna barely touch it to me. So what I should be doing here is trying to bang it off the crossboard because both their defenders are back still and either let me or one of my teammates score, but I decided to take that one since it was a wide open net and finish it. The mental part is once you score one goal, as you see right there, you're gonna score a lot more. As long as you get over that one goal, then momentum can totally change. So you could be losing the whole entire game into the final minute, and then you get a goal either by accident or by good playing, and the momentum can totally change. Just as you see right here, where I've been talking, there's been two more goals and now we're up three to one with a minute 15 left. So those are all the big mistakes in the game. So what we're now gonna be going over is, we're gonna be going to extras, we're gonna be going to workshops, and we're gonna be doing some obstacle courses to get your 
aerial car control better as well as your dribbling better. So the first one is the dribble challenge number two. It's by French fries. You can go under steam if you're PC. This is for only PC players. And what you gotta go to is scroll to the bottom under games of Rocket League and then they have workshops and you gotta click that and search through the ones you want. So if you've never seen this, this is really good to work on your car control with the ball on top of it. So dribbling, we gotta go as fast as possible. But again, speed is not of the essence, it's about learning how to dribble. So I actually had my ball came on, but still completed it. So we got through the first two levels. First few levels should be pretty easy. As long as you're somewhat decent at dribbling. And I've been working on this recently. So it's just repetition, keep on practicing, don't giving up. And then you'll eventually get it. And then you'll be better the next time. So what I did for my plan was I had to do 30 minutes of this every single day for a whole entire week. And because of that, I got pretty decent at dribbling and learned how to flick the ball really well. So this one you gotta wait for the wall to pass. Just like that. There we go. Going down, we just lost control. And watch, now it's gonna take me another 10 hours to get this done. We have control, we just have to take it home. Slow it down and finish it with a flick. The second one I recommend is Speed Jump Boost by DMC. So we're gonna click on that, we're gonna do a few levels and just show you how it is. So what you gotta do is go to Options, Turn off unlimited boost and free play. As you see right here, uncheck unlimited boost, then go down the tunnel. We're gonna go to easy just for now. Freestyle our way into the map. So we got island hopper first. This one you can do a few little spins, as long as you land it. Get some more boost and go to the next island. Land it. We only have 15 boosts to go through the whole thing, so we need to jump and hit it like that. So this one, we're not going to be doing any freestyles. We're just going to go through it, basically. Slow it down. Serve our boost just like that, and... So this one, you don't want to freestyle if you only have a certain amount of boost. This one, we should be good. Just fly backwards and hit. So the third one I recommend is obstacle course number one. This one you put back unlimited boost again. So you jump into level one, turn off the camera, and this one you just gotta go. I'm not gonna do any freestyles, I'm just gonna do it basic for y'all. And you have to drive through the obstacles without hitting the wall. They have the safe spot slash checkpoints between each one so you don't have to actually get through the whole thing if you can't let's go up slow down go under so this helps with your aerial car control a lot if you just practice this a little bit every single day you should be able to get pretty good at it Change. Okay, there we go. Fly backwards on that one. So we'll hit it with a little bit of freestyle. And this one you don't want to freestyle unless you're like really good at car control and somehow get through it all. There's. Out of all of them. We're going way too fast on this, we just slow it down. Complete that pretty easily. I'm trying to do it with a little bit of freestyle. I'll do it backwards actually. That's what I'll do instead. So 
This one is just going in an entire circle. So that's all I'm going to show you for this one. And that's going to actually be the end of the video. I'll save the last, last one that I have saved. I've actually never done it, but it's the number one one in the world right now for PC workshop wise. So yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that sub button, leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Leave a comment if you have any ideas on what I should improve to make this series even better. I got some good feedback from the last video, so if you haven't already seen that one, go check it out. But that's going to be it, and peace!